friends and welcome back to Fallout 2. In our last video, we began the game. We created our character Jane. She's currently going through some sort of trials, even though she's a chosen one. And that's all I got. <laughs> so I hope today we'll finish these trials because they have seemed quite extensive so far. But let's see, right now we see a metal door. Can I go through this yet? An impenetrable door. Huh. Can I lockpick said door? Lockpick. No, that doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, can I repair said door? No, I can't repair that. Do I have anything in my inventory that I can... Oh, I have... Oh, I wonder. Do I... Do I need to use some plastic explosives? That does nothing. Huh. Use. Uh, I feel like 20 seconds should be more than enough. Uh. Uh. Now, do I use it now? I'm gonna blow myself up, aren't I? I'm gonna blow myself up. Okay, let's run fast. Did I start the timer? Did I break it? <laughs> I mean... Oh, it worked. <laughs> I thought I was gonna <laughs> blow myself up. Oh, but it worked. Perfect. Oh, I'm I was I was looking around, Mr. Ant. And I'm I'm not in range. Okay. And I I can't do anything. I was trying to see what else there is. Okay, so there's some more chests and good oh Aha, uh -huh, there's a guy. Maybe that's the exit. I mean, I could just go straight to the exit, but what what if there's what if there's something important in this chest over here? Plus, the extra XP is always good, right? <laughs> I mean, okay, hang on. Let's save. Let's save and actually label it. So let's save here. Yes, four. Oh, apparently, I'm in all caps today. It's one of those days. Wow, killed on my first try. That hasn't happened. Well, I think that happened once or twice in the last video, but it's not a regular occurrence. Ouch. Did he poison me again? And I missed. Okay, let's go this way. I'm trying to get you at a better angle, Jane, but it's just not working. Ow. We got him good there, maybe. And we missed again. <laughs> and he died. He is very le dead. Let's open the chest. And we have some antidote and some healing powder. And we will use the amazing take all button. I don't know if the take all button. I wonder if it's um because of the unofficial patch that I've installed or if that's just part of the game. I have a feeling it's probably just part of the game right now. I have nothing to base that on. That's just my thoughts. And I'm too far away, of course. Nice job, Jane. We need to find a gun though, because I really don't want to invest any points into melee or yeah, melee. That would be wasteful. There's another chest here. Nothing, that's so, like that's just mean. Just 
trying to make sure there's no traps. Oh, greetings, Jane. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. I love so very much how large this is <laughs> right now. It was fine once I made the adjustments in Fallout 1. It was much better, but wow, it is huge on my screen right now. Anyway, shall we begin? I've got some questions for you first. Sure, let's party. I think I need, well, I have questions first. What would you like to know? Well, why do we have to fight? Is this a fight to the death? You say that we are to fight unarmed. Let's get the fight over with. Yeah, why do we have to fight? Oh, the path of the chosen one is not an easy trail to walk, Jane. You will be for forced. You will be faced with many challenges throughout your lifetime, and the most difficult of these will be dealing with your fellow man. There will come a time when diplomacy and tact will prove to be useless, and your hand must be raised instead. This challenge prepares you to face another human. Look him in the eyes and know that you may have to kill him. I see. I disagree with you. I think that a peaceful solution to any problem is possible. Can we talk this person out of, out of fighting us? Because I, I would be okay with this. Because I don't have a gun. <laughs> you may be correct, Jane, but not in our current situation. You must defeat me to succeed in your trial. Look. I don't know all of your strengths and weaknesses, and you don't know mine. Accidents do happen, so what if one of us inadvertently kills the other? Let's just end this now rather than take that chance, okay? That is a perfectly reasonable statement. I would agree with that. Hmm, I see your point. I wouldn't want to be responsible for killing you when all I meant to do was test your mettle. Very well, you may pass chosen one. Yes, thanks. I'll see you back at the village. Where are you going? Oh, just down there to t Can I can I just go out this door? Like what's why can't you just use this door? Is that like the 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 suit from Bob? Because Bob founded this settlement. And I leveled! So you've passed the trials of Arroyo. Oh, you are once more in the village of your birth, Arroyo. You've gone up a level and you gained 600 experience points. Great. That's excellent. Um, 14 points. Definitely less than I was getting last time. Probably put it in small... I'll probably split between small guns, lockpick, and speech, but... I want to save. So let's save in five. Oh, five. And let's, oh, look, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the vault suit. Oh. But it's not underneath my armor. Hmm, interesting. Oh yeah, the skull pole. The human villager. Hello, I hear you are the chosen one. Now perhaps our village can be saved. Can you tell me where I can find more healing powder? What can you tell me of the traders who trade with us? Um, can we trade? You have nothing to trade. I shouldn't be able to even trade with you if you have nothing to trade. Yet, where can I find more healing powder? Go see Hakunin, I think that's an eye, in the northern corner of the village. He can help you. One more question, if I may. What can you tell me of the traders who trade with us? They come to our village from the east, but their goods are poor. One more question. I guess that's it. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Wow. This is a huge area. Or I'm just so zoomed in. <laughs> that. It oh, look at this big head. A stone monument. A bed. You see more or less one of your aunts, the one who never liked you. Oh, that's kind of sad. Who is this? Is that anyone you're talking to? The elder of your village. The chess. Well, let's talk to the elder first. Congratulations, chosen one. Thanks. You have survived the temple of trials. 
Are you ready for your quest? What were you doing trying to get me killed on the temp in the temple? Well, if you can't pass the temple trials, I guess you're not worthy to be the chosen one. Perhaps uh, I'd like to think about it more. No, give me my give me my quest. Then take this flask. It is from the Holy Vault Thirteen. Mm. <laughs> Vic, a traitor in Klamath, brought it to us. He may know where the vault is. You may also need some of what they call money. Here. Uh, what was my quest again? Pay attention. <laughs> Find the holy vault 13 and bring back the gak. Vic, the traitor from Klamath, brought us the flask from the holy 13. Start your search with him. The disc will remind you of your task. May the gods of the vault watch over you. Before I go, I have some questions. We have lots of questions. I cannot help much. So much has been lost from the long ago. What wisdom do you seek? She gave me $152. Tell me more about the Gek. It is a holy artifact. The Garden of Eden creation get. The discs promise it will make our lands green and our village prosperous. It will save us. More, I do not know. Okay. What do you need? How do I get to Clam Klamath? Is that how she said it? Klamath is to the east. What do you need? Where is Vault 13? The Holy 13. I cannot help you. Only the vault dweller knew. His tales have the sound of a perilous journey. Mm hmm Yes. What do you need? On second thought, I don't need any help now. Goodbye. So she gave me some money, legal tender for the world of the wastes. She gave me, oh, it's Bob's canteen. This relic of the vault was probably used to contain some sacred sacrament. Not really, just water. The holy number 13 is emblazoned on the side of this precious link to your people's past and hopeful future. It weighs two pounds. I don't know why I'm acting like I can't see it very well because it's huge on my screen. A knife and then healing powder. Well, we'll take all that. I think I can probably wander around without my weapon equipped. Just a thought. Bookshelf. Fruit and another knife. Thank you. Oh, that's right. I can hit. Take all. Jessica. Do I have a pit boy yet? Oh, I do have a pit boy. It looks like the other one. Status Arroyo. Find Vic the Traitor. Retrieve the Gek for Arroyo. Auto maps, archives. I wonder what that's all about. Arrows up and down. Okay, close. Let's save after talking to our elder. Dog meat? Are you alive again? <laughs> um, healing powder. Okay, same stuff. Oh, there's a gentleman here now. You see your nephew, Fergus, crying about something as usual. <gasps> when I'm really so... Please fix the well. How old are you? The well has not worked in a while. It needs to be repaired. Uh, repair. You repair the well, 100 points. Nice. Thanks for fixing that, fixing the well. Be careful, hey, be careful. Okay. You're welcome. I mean, he's a grown man. <laughs> Couldn't you like fix it yourself? Just pointing it out. Nothing there. Oh, there's an urn, a pot. That Xander Root. Are we gonna search each and every single pot and shelf? Yeah, obviously. 
A finely crafted wooden bowl that looks like it was designed to crush and separate grains. Who's this? Oh no, I, I'm the person. Mm, okay, same conversation. The ant who didn't like me very much. Well, let's go talk to the ant who hates me. Why do you bother me, niece? Can't you see I'm busy? I Like, what are you doing? I, I, okay, I'm gonna come steal your stuff because you're not nice. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you have a hundred? A hundred monies? Are they caps again? I feel like I'm just gonna call them caps. Or dollars. Look, Seguero cacti again. Female villager. Stand still, male villager. Okay. Lucas. So there you are, chosen one. Humph. <laughs> How goes your quest? Uh, pretty well, not so good. I must get back. Not not so good. Um, I like just started. Let's not freak anybody out just yet. Pretty well. Maybe you need a warrior's help. Sure, what can you help me with? I know how to fight with fists and feet. Think you can learn that? Well, what can you teach me? I can teach you enough to fight better. It will take us all of one day. Oh, okay, sure. You have learned well, Chosen One. May the wind be at your back. Thank you for your help. I gained one perception. My perception actually go up a whole... Really? Did my... I think my unarmed went up too. But I could be wrong. I think it did though. I have taught you all I can, Chosen One. Good luck on your quest. Okay, that was... Great, I, thanks. <laughs> Nothing there. You see Jordan twirling his spear as usual. Chosen one, the way to use a spear, you'll be, the way you use a spear, you'll be meat for the geckos in no time. I can show you a few tricks. Okay, can I trade with you first? I need to find a trader. No, you have nothing to trade for. But sure, show me show me what I need to learn. This may take a little while. Okay, okay. You're a swift student. It looks like you've learned all I can teach you. Thanks, Jordan. That's going to help a lot. Um I would guess my melee weapons? Oh, they did go up. Quite a bit. Well, this is Convenient. <laughs> Considering I have zero skills in melee. Do you have a gun lying around by chance? I would love one of those. I really like the music going on right now. It's really cool. Where's the puppy? Huh. Cameron. Oh, I need to talk to Cameron. That was the guy who was at the trials with me, too. Okay, so we've gone into that tent. I needed to go into this one. Who was in here? Nobody. You see your young cousin, Nagor. You don't see his dog, Smoke, anywhere. I hear your dog. I can't get there. Cousin, am I glad to see you? I need your help. Sorry, but I don't have t the time. No, what do you need help with? I'm all for doing quests, especially right now. Smoke ran off into the hunting grounds and hasn't come back, and now Morlis won't let me go find him. She says it's too dangerous and he's just a dog. But I was going to go anyway. But, but now you're here, and you could do it, and I wouldn't get into trouble. Sure, but where are the hunting grounds? What'd you do, get hit in the head with a rock? They're on the far side of Hakunin's tent, north of the village. Do you have anything worth? You have nothing to barter. Okay, so I'll be back with him soon, hopefully, in theory. 
Is this Hakunin's tent? Well, there's like a little first aid sign on it. Before you stands Hakunin, the village shaman. He appraises you with his crazy eyes from somewhere in the world only he inhabits. He's <laughs> crazy eyes. Awesome. Greetings, Chosen. Why does the earth before me warm to the touch of your passing? I have no idea, but you kind of do have crazy eyes. Uh, I'll, I've come to say goodbye. I'm leaving on my holy quest. I'm heading out. I was hoping just as once you'd talk like a real person. You're doing too, you're doing just way too many drugs. I'm out of here. Um, can we trade? You have nothing to trade with. Like, really. I've come to say goodbye. I'm leaving on my holy quest. The earth sings with the news of a champion upon the land. Perhaps before you go, you would bestow a kindness? Sure, what do you need? The plants of Dark Soul have infested my garden again. Many seasons have touched my bones, and I am too frail for the fight which is eternal in nature. I ask that you be my champion. I don't think so. I need to start my quest. I know you're not a bad guy, but I've got a headache already. Forget it. I'm the future looter of this tribe, and it would be undignified for me to do your gardening for you. I'd be honored, Holy One. Did you just ask me to weed your garden? If that's the case, okay. No, I'll, I'd be honored, Holy One. Let's be polite. May the gods bless your efforts, Chosen. May your aura grace my presence when the earth breathes clean again. I, I take it you want to see me again when I'm done? You could have just said so, you know. No, let's not be a jerk. <laughs> he was nice. We can look through his stuff. So far, very few people have had anything worth taking. Nothing again. I hear the dog. Ooh, chest. Your chest, your chest is empty. A plant of a dark soul. So the dog was to the north of this guy's tent. So over here, maybe? Um, hang on. Status. Arroyo. Find Vic the trade. Rescue Nagor's dog, Smoke, from the wild. Kill the evil plants that infest Hakunin's garden. Okay, well, let's um save. And then, do I go up here to find the dog? Oh, I guess I'm going to fight the evil plants first. These plants aren't just harmful to the garden, they also have the ability to attack humans and other creatures. To attack, that's a, that's a new word. Plant was severely wounded. I'm still really bad at melee. He's almost dead. He got me finally. Twenty-three, twenty-three. No, I'll just do it like normal, I guess. Finally. These plants are always oh, hit by three points. I'm probably gonna need some healing powder. So 20% is not his health. That would be nice to have instead. It's like the percentage I'm likely to hit it, I think. I 
keep missing. <laughs> Creature's almost dead. I'm almost dead. I mean, I know it's thrilling, thrilling content here right now. <laughs> Come on. I missed again. <laughs> Does anyone have a weapon I can purchase? Probably not. Finally. Finally. Oh, I can't loot it? Okay, we will rest until we are healed. I hear you, puppy. Wow, I had to rest several days. Because I was almost dead, apparently. Okay. Um, is that all your plants taken care of? Yes. Let's go talk to Hananin, Hananin. I'm, I've already forgotten his name, I know. <laughs> ah, you return the spirit of the dweller to the world and bring a smile to the soul of an old man in passing. For this, I give you powders of healing. Remember... They fog the mind as they cleanse the body. Thanks. Can I barter with you? Nothing, nothing. Okay, thank you. Bye. And also, will I mix the Brock flower with the Xander root together whenever you bring both to me? May your pathways be true and your heart follow suit. I feel like I looted the Xander root from somebody. Where can I find these things? Look to the north, Chosen. And the way will be open. Okay, thanks. So I go north, and that's where I need to go anyway for the dog, right? Nagar and female villager. Okay, let's go talk to Cameron. It's good to see you again, Chosen One. How may I help you? I'd like to visit the temple again. Hello, Cameron. Ready for another fight? Just, nope, thought I'd say hi. Or do you have anything worth bartering? Nobody here has anything. Okay, bye. Although I should probably get my weapon out. Clint, greetings chosen one. It's good to see you. How may I serve you? Just thought I'd say hello. I'll be leaving on my quest soon. May the spirits of our ancestors protect you chosen one. I wish you well in your journey. Thank, thank you. Oh, okay, that's the temple. Maybe north over here? Trash. Ooh, what a, a gecko. Okay. Rocks. More geckos down there. Where's a dog? Ah, there's the dog. Okay. Let's go and get the dog first. Maybe the dog will become my companion. And he'll be my new dog meat. But maybe be less squashy. Hi! Can we talk? No, we can't talk. Are you just not going to attack me? Really? Try not to go through what looks like toxic goo. Radioactive goo. <laughs> but nothing out of the ordinary. Um, how do I get over here? Okay. Hi, Smoke.
Stand still so I can talk to you. The canine probably have a mixed breed unhurt. Okay. We've saved the dog. But I feel like we have to get the dog back to... Back to my nephew. One of these guys. Oh, I like that. That it. The, your friends are green now. The gecko missed. Gecko critically missed and took five hit points. Knocked him down and he hurt himself. This may have been a very bad idea, but we'll we'll, we'll do it anyway as usual. He's almost dead. It'd be great if I could not miss. Good. Good job. Oh no. Don't hurt smoke. Bad gecko. This is so embarrassing. How <laughs> bad I am at melee. I wonder if I would almost be better if I was unarmed. I would be better if I was unarmed. There we go. Nothing. He's got nothing on him. That gecko's got nothing on him. Oh, he looks wounded. Um, I don't want to give him healing powers. I need to get rid of these tails. They weigh so much. Are you coming with me, Smoke? All right, so I just realized the time and I'm at time for today. That sounded better in my head. But in tomorrow's video, we will pick back up here, turn in Smoke to our nephew and continue poking around our village and then maybe, then maybe head off to where we need to go next. But as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout 2 video.